I'm not really sure. I just yeah. know, like, last year, like, I was on a great defense and guys were just flying around, and I ended up being in the right places a couple times, and my confidence just started building from there. Well, I can remember back to that bowl game. Obviously, that's light years ago, and that bowl game when you're trying to cover Hakeem Nips. But it, it, it kind of happened in that game a little bit because that second half, you, you kind of – Turn it around a little bit. Was it just lock putting that confidence in you, maybe, or what do you oh, think yeah, it was? And, um, in that game, it was actually probably a JT time because I remember I made a tackle in the backfield one time. He came over there, and slapped me on the head, and congratulated me. And I was just like, "Damn, I really can do this." And that's when yeah. like, I start feeling things starting to change. Right. Like, you, I did something instead of chasing that guy or whatever, yeah. that kind of thing. And what about the cornerback tradition? Are you aware of the great cornerbacks that they have had here in the past between Pac-Man Jones and Beasley and, and, and some of those guys who have done that? Are you aware of that? Well, yeah, I'm definitely aware of that. Like, uh, like Beasley, he comes back all the time. And he'll, like, try to give me some tips, and he'll try to challenge me to, like, try to break, like, some of his records. And then, like, I play against Pac-Man, like, on the video games online. I talk, and he talk trash to me on the line. Well, well, what does Beasley tell you? He was like trying to tell me like some of the tips that he used like whenever he played corner like some of the tendencies the receivers have. Do you know much about him? I mean, as far as a player, I mean, he was a real instinctive player. He was the kind of guy that gambled and wasn't super fast, but just was a was an instinctive player. Talk about that at all? Oh yeah, that's what he lets me know all the time. Like he, he always tells me he's not the fastest guy out there, but he made plays because of, like you know, watching film and his instincts. Yeah. You know, Locke mentioned something I thought was interesting because, you know, the impression was that you got a lot of your numbers because people were thrown away from Brandon. But in reality, he said people were, were thrown away from you and, and more to Brandon. And were you aware of that at all? Did you? I mean, I didn't really, like, notice that at all. I was just, I was just playing, like, whenever the ball came my way, trying to make a play on it. Well, how about this year? I mean, there's a good chance that they will be thrown away from you and maybe working on the other side. What are you going to tell the guys on the other side? I mean, we already been talking, like, well, mainly, like, Pat and Brian, they've been talking. It was like, well, actually, they threw away from Brandon. You had a big year. Like, hopefully they'll throw away from you. And this year, I have a big year. <laughs> you want some balls your way, though, don't you? <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. How much does it help you guys in the, in the secondary when you've got a guy like Bruce on the line going putting pressure in the, on the back there? Oh, that's real big for us. Because, you know, when they have a guy like Bruce, they don't have too much uh, time to sit back there and, and throw the ball around. So, you know, you can take more chances to try to jump short around because of Bruce. And how about, does it, does it help now that every day in practice you're going against it? Offense, it's, it's oh, yeah, it's real. Like, uh, um, playing in the secondary, like, you love playing against the offense like it's every day in practice because they make you, they challenge you so many different ways and running so many different routes, and you have to be on your toes every time you play. You talk about plays, and you guys look at highlights. Uh, is there a pick that comes to your mind, or is that hit on DJ Woods is the one thing you, you, you seem to think about the most? I think my favorite play was probably a couple years ago, we played Pitt at home, and I caught a ball. And the reason like it's sticking my mind because I watched that play on film so many times and I was like when they throw this ball on this play I'm gonna pick it off and then it actually happened in the game. Was that something where it was an instinctive player or did you diagnose it right away and said this is where I need to be? You remember what it was like with the circumstances? Like when they line up in the formation, I knew the exact play they were gonna run. We ran it like we ran it every day in practice and I knew uh, when I watched it on film we do the same route every single time they line up in that formation. So I pretty much knew it was gonna come. Talk about Lockwood, how he prepares you and how much he's meant to, to where you're at right now. Uh, Lock, um, he real, he's real key from where I'm at right now. Like, he always in there watching film and coming up with like little things that tell me like tips on what the receiver likes to do in certain situations. I feel like he's the main reason for the player I am today. And he's.